Yeah, yeah. Please stay. Okay. Um. Uh, just a second. You need to take the mic. I think. Yes. So the question I have is, once we do the map uh, and, and reduce it, and now I have all, I, I built essentially what I want to do, and I've run my jobs, how do I now go fetch that information? You mean get the results or just doing a job? Yeah, so now I want to use mm -hmm. you know, what it's done. I want to use to go fetch information. Is this, is that possible, or is this something I have to build a library for? How do I? Do? Uh, no, actually, you can use just use the hunter firmware to get the results after you have done the job. So, um, if you want to, if you actually uh, depends on how you write the program. Uh, for the Hadoop account, it will store somewhere on the Hadoop file system, and then you can use the uh, uh, Hadoop um, some command to see what kind of results on somewhere and then you can copy them back to the local disk then you will you can get a bunch of the output results from the uh, from the program you just want so it depends on how you write the program for the Hadoop account we just have text files output on the Hadoop uh, file system then we don't write any uh, code to copy them back to local but rather than we put it on the remote side because uh, I think in the real cluster version uh, we don't want to keep most of the results on the uh, uh, on the local side because it's hard to uh, capture them back if you don't know which node you're currently working on that is the meaning that we need to put it back on the remote side of the Hadoop file system so uh, we have another example okay I see that this time um, an example is the blast program if, if we have time to run it today actually uh, it also using the blast program to generate some output store on the local disk and then uh, we write a code to put it back in the Hadoop file system so it's the same idea so it depends on what you want to get back yeah I'm just not sure how much mm -hmm. it's built in and how much you talk? I have to write myself do you code or no just from the API itself how much of it okay. is built in and Actually, the most important part of writing uh, a Hadoop code is depends on uh, what kind of application you want to apply on. So if we just want to, you can see the examples of the Blast. It's a quite easy when you, if you guys are familiar with Blast, is you can run it on command line. So we write a code that <laughs> create an execution command of the Blast program, then called by the mapper, I mean within the mapper, we call it uh, as an external process. So we don't need to take care too much about uh, the computation part, but we need to take care much about how to set up what kind of files are going to put to that mapper, and then what kind of files to need to output back to a, a, a single Hadoop file system. So that's what we need to write. Yes. Okay, it's back. So let me go back. On this note, because I didn't build it, so I need to copy back here. Then I'm ready to run the uh, Hadoop Blast on the cluster environment. We just draw. We first need to do a preparation that to copy those input file to a Hadoop file system using fs put and then Hadoop input to input It takes some time to put on the Hadoop file system.
Okay, uh, I think uh, during our meeting, I probably give a bit introduction about the second program because uh, I think can we can I do it? Let's go for it. So, so Hadoop can actually just uh, make a brief. I mean, it's a simple program. Just to have um, uh, the matching the program model of MapReduce. But in real practice, sometimes we don't really uh, need to write. A reduce uh, reducer because uh, we want what we want to do is just uh, computation using some uh, uh, existing uh, application. So like Blast uh, is a well-known bioinformatics application written in C. We want to use it on Hadoop to get a more high um, quality of uh, of the computation capability of Hadoop to get to reduce the time of the long-running Blast. Program. If you guys know, blast program sometimes will run up to few days because of the query size is so big. So if we use Hadoop, we can split the uh, in query file into chunk and then assign it to uh, assign it to different uh, assign to the Hadoop framework to help you to finish the entire process. So in this program, we probably will. You see, uh, we use the distributed cache, and then for the blast program database, because sometimes you see if you use the file, file, file sharing file system, uh, the latency is unpredictable. Depends on the cluster you are running. So if you can put the data on the local side, it will uh, probably improve the performance. So. On the mapper, somebody just asked me before uh, how many works you need to do when you write a program uh, on the existing uh, application with uh, Hadoop. So actually, the most important part is to tell the uh, Hadoop where your input files is and also the path it will store in the local disk. Then execute your existing uh, application to uh, match your requirement to using Hadoop to get a more uh, uh, for the large scale data set to get the, the input more quicker. So in this line, in you, so you see you can see the source code. We just need to take care about uh, the uh, file path of the input file you get from the Hadoop file system <coughs> and then create a command execution command combination of them and pass it through to, to an external process with that command execute that command so after the entire process is done you can see the third line uh, you copy back the uh, result to the Hadoop file system and then what you need to do is just to set up in the main program the driver, which uh, you tell the program where the distributed cache is and what kind of uh, input uh, will looks like, and then what kind of output it will be looks like. Then the pro Hadoop firmware probably will handle the entire things for you. So actually, this is the same as the Hadoop work count program. You can execute. And uh, I, as some of the, our group member mentioned that uh, there are some tips to increase the performance when you uh, use the Hadoop framework. For example, you can have more map tasks to increase the uh, capacity of the, uh, of, the, of the entire process because the map task uh, is the main part of the program which do the main computation things so if that not if the last map task have to wait too long uh, the entire process will be delayed by the last mapper and also we suggest people to use the 
data on the local disk rather than on the uh, shared file system because uh, right now we all suffer from the uh, shared file system network latency uh, if all the data can on the local disk it will improve the performance and also some tips is uh, the logs also you can put it on the local disk with using some uh, Linux command so some reference you can see on our website, the Yahoo Hadoop tutorial and also Apache MapReduce tutorial and uh, the Google presentation about the idea of the MapReduce and the file system. So uh, let me go back to see whether it is ready to run or not. Okay. So after you put, go back to the work count program, after you put the input on the Hadoop file system, your a good program is ready to run with the following command. Here, here we have a small change is we don't use the local disk rather than that we use the uh, remote disk. We name an input as a previous command we type on the Hadoop file system. And then we need a new name called output as the, as, the, as the output on the Hadoop file system, the program needs to copy back to them. So, input, 